It's not the fall that hurts you, it's a sudden stop at the end. The inclusion of shock-absorbing systems has been part of fall protection for over 20 years. Under Australia-New Zealand design standard ASNZS 1891.1, we must not allow the body to receive an impact force exceeding 6 kilonewtons. That's about 600 kilos of force. When using a fall arrest lanyard, the built-in shock absorber is designed to absorb the impact forces created when your fall is arrested instead of your body. There are a number of types of shock absorbing lanyards on the market defined by their construction and they are all designed to do the same thing, protect you from serious or fatal injury if you fall from height. The most common is the stitch webbing type which is folded over on itself and stitched in a pattern that upon activation will break the stitching in a controlled way. Most shock absorbing lanyards require a sustained force of approximately 2 kilonewtons to be applied to the lanyard for the device to deploy. This means where a person uses the lanyard in restraint technique, the device will not deploy. The person can easily lean into the lanyard or pull on it hard and there will be no effect on the lanyard. Working at height without a shock absorbing lanyard can be potentially fatal. If a 100 kilogram person falls 1.8 meters without a shock absorbing lanyard, their body would be subject to 22 kilonewtons of force, just under four times the allowable limit. With a shock absorbing lanyard, the force subjected on their body is reduced by over 80% to just 3.7 kilonewtons. Book your height safety training today with ISH24, the safety specialist.